In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add and edit a page in Canvas um, that's already set in your module. So I'm going to go under, like the explore is a page. So we're setting objectives, so is communicate. I'm gonna go under my communicate one. All right, so to go in and edit this, I'm just gonna go up to this edit button. And I put my old rich content editor back on. I'm gonna take myself off the screen here. All right, so what the easiest thing to do is start with an image or uh, something that you're going to add that's kind of visually appealing or a header. Um, the, I'm gonna start with a header. And so I'm gonna do storyboarding 101. And then I'm going to add an image. And so over here, it says you can embed image. So if I click on that, I can come over to Flickr, or I can, if I find a website that I wanna use that, that URL, I can. If you've already uploaded an image to Canvas, you can come there too. Or if I can go to Flickr, so I'm gonna just do storyboard and see what I can come up with. I might not be able to find anything. Okay, so for example, I want this one. And I can change these dimensions as well. Um, but I'm going to also put in an alternative text. And this is for, again, for our assistive technology pieces of what we want it to look like. So um, I'm going to just do storyboard image. Um, so if there's a screen reader, then they know what that picture is actually describing. And so I can adjust this as well. So I can center it. I can change the size of it, things like that. All right. So now, other things I can add is I can add a table in there. So if I wanna do like three by two, I can put different pieces in here. I can embed videos in there. I can do all different sorts of different things. But here's where my table properties are. So if I want to do like um, a deeper border and I wanna have a different style border, I can. So I'm gonna do an outset and then I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab a color here. I want my background color to be this color. I just changed that. Now I would recommend if you're going to do coloring of any sort, I know it seems like it, you should just make it visually appealing, but if you do, I recommend using very light colors just because of people with visual impairments. Um, it does make a difference on their eyes. You wanna have a big contrast. So like if I was gonna use that purple, I would probably actually go to a lighter color. So I'm gonna go back to table properties. And you can see there's a little bit lighter difference. All right, so here's again where you can insert and edit med media. So if I found a site that I, I wanted, I can add it there. Also, I can embed things. So if you have a YouTube video or something, you can embed it. Um, and then also advance if you found something different that you can use, but you probably will mostly use these two. All right, also an external link. So for example, if I was going to have them watch the Disney storyboard, example. I would just have that URL ready. This isn't really the URL, but I'm going to just say it is. And I would just paste it in there. All right. Um, that would be if I wanted to remove that link instead. All right. So then here again, that's the image piece. Here's if I wanted to insert math equations. So you can see all sorts of different pieces you can add in there. Here is if I have something in my comments favorites I want to use. Um, we aren't using explain everything anymore, but more external tools if we have other tools that you want to use. So if you want to have a Google Hangout in here, you can. Um, H5P is another thing where we have interactive content, um, like interactive videos and such, and I can do a separate video on that or your, even your Google Drive. All right, here I showed you how to do recording media and uploading media before. Here's your, more, more of your paragraph information. Um, you can check your accessibility. Oh, it says tables should include a caption describing the content. So it's going to give you ideas of things that you need to improve upon. And it also says that I have no headers on my table. So that it's going to say, yep, you need to issue, those are issues for accessibility. All right. Also, if I need to embed something with, um, on my computer, from my computer, I can also use my HTML editor for different pieces. All right. So let's say I don't need my teachers to edit this or my students to edit this page. I just need, it's just me. 
Um, I may just keep that on only teachers, but I can add it to my students to do list. So then on that on their um, dashboard, it's going to show up on there. So I'm going to say I want it to show up on May 4th at 8 o'clock a.m. And then I can save that. So those are some of the pieces that would be in a page itself. Again, you have all these different pieces, just like a Google Doc, that you can add to. You can also have things. So, for example, let's say I want this to link to another page that are that is in my Canvas course already. I can highlight this, and then I can come over and say I want this to go to this one, and that's going to link that already in here. All right, so there's pages in there. I can also link it to an assignment, so I can be describing what I want them to do, and then a link to the assignment. I can also do a quiz, an announcement, discussions, back to modules, and then back to your course from navigation as well. Also, I can come over here and add files, so I can link a file that I've uploaded, or even images that I've uploaded. So that is basically pages in a nutshell.